Here we are again driving with Ben. Just about flipped the truck, but it's fine. The dog's still on the back, that's the only important thing. That's right. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another Two Farm Boys video. In today's video, guys, we are finally back. I know I've been gone. It's been like about three months now. I didn't mean to take a break from YouTube. It was kind of an accidental break. Essentially, I got really busy with stuff on the farm, really busy with my homeschool, and just a bunch of family stuff, all kinds of different things. I had to take a few weeks off, kept trying to upload. Every time I'd try and get some time to edit, I just couldn't, something would come up, and that kept going on for a while until I realized I'd been gone from YouTube for like two months, and I was like, well, I've been gone this long, I may as well get all this stuff done, so then that way, when I do come back, I can stay consistent, and I won't have to worry about it. And we're back with a hay baling video. Now, we finished up everything this year, because obviously now it's November, but this is some footage from earlier on uh, in the season of the second cutting. This was actually a custom job. This was my first custom hay job, and for those of you who don't know what a custom job means, that's essentially where you're cutting hay for someone else, you're raking and baling it, and they're paying you to do so. So for instance, I did 12 acres at this guy's place, and he paid me 350 a square bale, which was a good deal. Uh, I think they were around 40 pound bales, something something like that. This field had a lot of weeds in it. It, it did have some good undergrowth though, so it was we, we decided it was worth cutting and we got 546 square bales off of it. We could only pack about 360 in his barn. He wanted at least 300 bales. We were able to get a little bit more in there and then he just let us take the rest for free. He was really nice about it. I don't know if he's watching or not, but if he is watching, uh, thank you so much. As you can tell by the title, this video was almost a disaster video because we had a hard time getting it up. It was a lot more hay than I anticipated. It was a lot thicker so I couldn't go as fast with the baler even though that was still probably the fastest that baler's gone uh, in a long time. I had to borrow my neighbor's baler because the baler that y'all saw me trying to get working this past spring that I bought for cheap uh, obviously didn't end up working. A lot of y'all probably could have called that. I am going to be getting a new one this winter, but my neighbor was nice enough to let me borrow his baler uh, for the second cutting. So so that's probably the fastest that old uh, New Holland 69 baler's ever, ever gone in, uh, in the last few years. But anyways, so we had to stretch it out over two days. We were trying to get it all done in one day. There were a lot of ruts in the field, so I ended up breaking a lot of rake teeth even when I was going slow. So I had to go a lot slower than I'd anticipated. Like I said, I ended up stretching it over two days. And uh, the second day they were calling for rain, and there was only a 30% chance, it turned out to be a 100% chance, and we got some light drizzles. We had to flip the windrows over because I would raked probably 70% of the field the day before. So we had to flip the windrows over, and we still had to bale about 300 and some bales. We'd gotten a little over 200 bales up the day before, I believe. So it, it was almost bad. It was overcast the whole day and we got everything inside all the barns about a half hour before it started pouring. So uh, we were really blessed to get it up and I would like to thank my crew for helping me pick it up. I couldn't have done it without them. Yeah, it, it was a ton of work uh, compared to what I was expecting, but we were able to get it done. But since it was a lot more work than I was anticipating, I didn't get as much time to set up film stuff. Normally I like to get a wide angle shot with my camcorder and tripod that I'm filming with right now and get like some time lapses or some secondary shots, but I didn't have time to set up anything like that except for maybe a few little side shots. All this is just gonna be GoPro footage from the tractor. Uh, I'm sorry if that's not really the style you like, but if it is, uh, stick around because there's plenty of it. So without further ado, I'm gonna show you all the whole process on this 12 acre field, and uh, then I'll talk to you guys towards the end of the video. Thanks for watching.
Yeah. Mm
here we are again driving with Ben. Just about flipped the truck, but it's fine. The dog's still on the back, that's the only important thing. That's right. Okay guys, that is pretty much it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Once again, I just want to give a big shout out to everybody who helped in this video, especially Ben, towards the end of the video. Uh, if he hadn't showed up to the field, we probably wouldn't have gotten everything done on time and I may have had lost some hay to the rain. So, big thank you to Ben and uh, once again, just a big thank you to everybody who helped in, uh, in this video. We will have another hay video or two coming out soon and plenty of other stuff that hopefully you guys will enjoy. But anyways, that is pretty much it for this video. If you enjoyed, Please make sure to leave a like down below or subscribe or leave a nice constructive comment. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.